G'day guys, Sam Dalby here. Today I'm with the lovely Justine McDonald from Nectar Home Loans and Finance. Um, we're coming into the silly season, so I want to get Justine and talk in about having Afterpay, Zip Pay, all of these different kinds of services, because I know you'll be using them over the Christmas break. Justine? Thanks, thanks for having me along today. Um, Sam, you are right, there's a lot of usage of Afterpay, particularly at this point in time. Um, so what is it? Um, in the old days it was called lay-by, but it's lay-by flipped on its head because you used to be able to, you used to have to pay it off and then pick up the goods. Now you get to have the goods first and pay for them later, hence the word after pay. After pay is treated by the banks like a credit card, so essentially um, they will look at the limit of your after pay facility and they'll take 3.82% of that into their servicing calculator. What does all that mean? Well, let me give you an example. If we've got a couple um, with no kids, both earning say $65,000 a year, and let's assume their living expenses are $3,000 a month, um, and they want to go for a loan. Now their borrowing capacity is roughly around $826,000. The minute we throw two $1,500 afterpay facilities into that, that drops by $15,000 to $811,000, yeah. And the reality is most people have a credit card. Let's throw in a $10,000 credit card limit. What do you think that does? It drops it to about $747,000. So an overall impact on the borrowing capacity across those two afterpays and one credit card of $78,000. That really could kill your chances of getting into the property that you want. So before you go for a loan, you really need to review all these things. Do you really need an afterpay facility? If you've got multiple credit cards and you're not using them, close them down. You really only need one and you need to review the limit you've got. If you've got a $10,000 limit, but the last year you've only ever maxed it out to about two or 3,000, then you don't need the 10,000 limit. Drop it right back down and that will really improve your borrowing capacity. So, obviously you've thrown around a lot of numbers there. So, just to recap, $78,000 reduction between a $10,000 credit card limit and two afterpay accounts that, that's effectively a 10% deposit. Absolutely. It's, a, it's absolutely mind-blowing what um, cleaning up those sorts of things can do to your borrowing capacity. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So guys, just remember over Christmas, steer away from your after pay accounts, pay cash wherever you can, because let's face it, it's going to help you when you're buying a home in the new year. Guys, have a wonderful Christmas. Look forward to catching up with you soon. Merry Christmas.